Alright, welcome back to this. Only let me just take that out of that really quickly. Now, I am so sorry for making the other one so long. It was just so... <sighs> it was such a long, long intro, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Why are my hands on the Why am I walking? Whoa! Whoa! What? Hey! You. Do thing. Touch it. Alright. Whoa! Okay then. Now, these are what I like to call live trigger events. Live trigger events are, as you can see, opportunities in time in which you can make a choice! A choice that affects many different things. We'll go through those as the game goes on. But for now, I'd say we uh, deserve a little rest and relaxation. No. No. But anyways, am I still dreaming? Is this a dream? That's what I think These I choose. Aren't even mine. You can choose whatever you want they in this game. Only, uh, certain I things happen if you choose up. certain things. That I choice mean, didn't matter. Is gone. That choice completely didn't matter. And what the fuck is outside? And then it hit me. It was actually good. What? What's happening? Let's find out. Oh god, I'm not playing Mass Effect. I'm just gonna keep talking about dreams. This is a dreamy ass dream. Is this place? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold forward and be on the merry ass way, because this is weird as hell. I can't take this. How do I get away from here? Pliss, tree, you're my only hope. Uh, nope. I can't touch to the trees. Up. Wake up, girl. We're going for a swim. And suddenly we're back in the real world. And bitches get Good fucked job. up. Sarah, come on, Gatto. Xenoblade Prime. Oh, Sarah, come on, Gatto. Oh, Sarah, come Yes, shoot everywhere to the left of it. That would be cool. And that thing wants to kill you, Sarah. Please. Oh, yes. Lightning, help me! Lightning, please! What? Get a hold of yourself! Lightning can't protect you anymore! Right? Get you your have ass. to look after yourself now! Do you hear me? Do you hear her? Your sister's dead! She can't help you! Oh! oh bro! My bro. Please, uh, if you want me to turn off the closed captions, then you're gonna have way. to go through me. Here's a Get up, Sarah. You Code in my dream. I saw you. Save it for later. Can you fight? If I have to. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. Trust me on this one. One more thing. I'm gonna do it later. Don't ever lay down and wait to die! Words of wisdom. No Christman himself. 
And with that, we have our very first real battle where he's not even kind of flip. He just kind of flips. Ouch. They call me ruin. They call me attack. They call me attack. Alright, you can't press a certain button. It's gonna be different depending on who you are and what you're playing, what console you're playing on, and all that. BS. Yeah, some of the PCs won't get any For me, it's Jim. Where you can actually cancel your attacks early. Or rather, cancel your ATB gauge. That's the little blue bar that you see running around. Also, as you can see there, our little friend buddies can turn into a sword as well. But let me go back to the As As pertaining to that little blue bar raising up, I can cancel that early if I choose. Like so. Oh, wait, they won't actually let me do it yet? Oh, that's. Oh, you're cool. Paradigm is are still a thing. Have a stack of wire at it. And then commando to go for the team. Let me go take a moment to explain something to the, the class that we have in our disposal. Alright, you saw the common Rav is the Ravager class. It's basically a spellcaster. They are amazing at getting that Dagger meter up. That is that 100 percent thing you see up there. That when I smack a boy, he says, "You know what? This is painful. My yellowness needs to increase." That thing. But anyways, every time you hit something, it goes up. No matter who you are or what class, I should say. Job. Same thing. Roll. Roll. That's it. They're called rolls. I'm a dirt. Rolls. Okay, they can go down slash and burn, which is. Which makes my little leader here a Ravager, or an Noel Commander. Misdirection? This... The names depend entirely on the jobs. Or the roles. I keep saying jobs. I'm so used to the fucking earlier from game. Whatever! The point is... That these things... Are rather wild. And yeah, anyways... You have your Sentinel here, which is your basic tank is tanky tank. I don't want to get spanked last. Damn, you got a combo here. Anyways, you have your Those are the three you have for now. We can double that number, that would be the maximum. It's almost spoiled about that. But for now, let's just take a moment to enjoy how beautiful this game is. Potions like no other. Sarah, be careful! No, no, you be careful. You're the one without a weapon. I'm too young to die. And I'm too old to live, I guess. Moving on to our final battle. Here we go. They're gonna tell us about paradigm shift. It's too bad I just explained it. Where you can press a certain button and choose between paradigms. Holy fucking shit! Holy shit! Anyway, I'm going for the smaller guys. You tend to want to have, you tend to want to have straight commandos out and about all the time, ever, forever and ever, ever until your nuts fall off or something. But anyway, um, for the bigger guys, you kind of want, you usually want to have two rabbits if you can. To make the stagger meter go up a lot faster because enemies take much take that much more damage. The percentage you see is how much damage they take from your basic attacks and the like. So that percentage is what determines how much damage you do to people. It goes up, your perk goes up. Simple enough. The max is 999, as I'm sure you've guessed. Uh. 
Hey, Sarah. Are you okay? Yeah. Mackie. Yeah. Gotta go. Okay. All right, everyone, listen up. The meteorite hit over there. Right. We're gonna check it out. Team Yuge, ready to roll. Well, and careful. That area's crawling with monsters. So stay close. Come on. Okay. Right. You heard him. Move out. With you. You're okay. She took a hit, but she's gonna be fine. She just needs some rest. Thank goodness. And thank you. Uh, whoever you are. No. No, Christ. Okay. And before I forget, it wasn't just me. You should probably thank this little guy, too. Supposed to be your lucky charm. Your sister gave it to me. Wait, you know Lightning? Mm hmm. She's the one who told me to come here. Where? Where did you see her? Was it Valhalla? Yeah, how'd you guess? I saw it in a dream. I saw my sister. She gave you the Moogle. And the meteorite came. And dragged me along with it, I guess. Do you mean you actually rode here on that meteorite? Maybe. I don't know. Damned if I can remember. Why don't we go and check it out? Okay. <laughs> now I know for sure. Lightning is alive. She's in a place called Valhalla. I'd only just met Noel, but I believed him. I believed every word he said. Even though it couldn't possibly be true. It seems like only yesterday. The smile on Lightning's face when she gave her blessing for Snow and me to get married. But I'm the only one who ever remembered that. No one believes. It's just a dream, they say, from when I slept in the crystal. An illusion. They say my sister is gone. That three years ago, she sacrificed herself to stop the fall of Cocoon. She turned into the crystal pillar that holds Cocoon above the surface of Pulse, and saved both worlds. That's what they say. But even so... But even so... Let's get it to the dreams if we have right here. Tell me your name? But then who are you? What do you do? I'm a hunter. I feel like an interrogator. Do you mind me asking? Shoot. Oh, yes. I think she just ran away from the guy. Oh, God, where is he? I love this music here. The army's got nothing on Nora. Now let us go. Find the know. Oh, where are you, my sweet queen? I would not even sad or shit on spit on you. Find it cool, thou must talk. Oh, so you I wonder if they get a kick. We never seen anything like him before. It took him seconds to turn our sentry bots into scrap metal. Yeah, it did. I heard a meteorite fell from the sky, and that's when all these monsters appeared. Yeah, that's they right. Did. 
Cadell and the others went to check out the meteorite. It's right outside town along the mountain path. That way, over towards Cocoon. Let us speak to him. Probably in the video there. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're cool. Barricade. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Yeah, it did. Where are you from, man? Where are you from? Somewhere inside Cocoon? Cocoon? Huh. So I guess it still exists in this age. Uh, I've traveled around a lot, following the herds. What do you mean by that? Born. Wait, what do you mean? You were born on Pulse? Huh. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, my lady? Anyways, let's keep going. Introducing the Random Battles! Alright, I'm gonna take a second here to explain this myself. See that little clock down there? That pretty much means there's a dude around who wants to fuck you up. If it's in the green and you hit them with a preemptive strike, as in you just walk up and smack them before they even think about trying to touch you, then you get a preemptive strike, which automatically gives you some free stagger gauge. Pretty nice, right? Anyways, getting back into this. Uh, if it hits the yellow, that's when they start coming after you. Apparently they're still kind of weirded out by the fact that they kind of exist out of nowhere when they're when you're in the green and um let's say you let that go all the way down to red somehow if you actually made it all that way down to red that would mean that the reach fry option is blocked in the menu which essentially means you can reset the entire battle before you even started in the first place What's up, pretty man? great right right you get the red, you die, you die! That's it. If you're not in the red, you somehow still kind of die. You can still try. Only if you're not in the red, you can't believe it. That's the catch. Ah, uh -huh. I wonder where Cadell is. Now, let's speak a little, Noel. Uh, let's see. I'm not used to seeing Cocoon. You mentioned not something about it. used to seeing Cocoon, huh? No. Well, actually, this is the first time I've ever seen it. The huh. first time? You can't be serious. Like, the first time seeing it from the outside? Huh. What an interesting young man. Let's find out more about him. <laughs> oh, and then the moon men <laughs> Riddle the shit too, right? While you're at it. Anyways, if you start with a preemptive strike, you also get a, a base little haste boost, which is kind of great. But anyways, I'm gonna stop. I think I should stop babbling about the game for now and start babbling about the game. <laughs> the path is way too dangerous. Yeah, I'm fucking up with everyone in my way. You got a problem? Take it to a manager. Hold on, man. <laughs> All right. What do you want, Mog? What you doing, buddy? You're pointing at something I can already see? How thoughtful. Look at that. Is a jerk decided to be a jerk and exist. Right next to it. So now I can't even get it. All right. Now, this guy is extremely defensive. I mean, we're doing two and fucking seven. And we're doing, like, hundreds of other people. This is where the stagger meter becomes your literal best friend. You stagger, and defensive enemies like this open like legs. It's, it's ridiculous. Look at this. Look at the damage rack up. He's doing fu he, he just fucked up. All I did was up the stagger. He just teabagged him with blades. He bit blade bagged Bilbo bladed. All right, anyways. Inside this thingy, we will have a nifty little map of new Bodum. Yeah! Maps. Basically, everywhere you've seen is all light blue. Everywhere you haven't been is all dark blue. Walk everywhere, and it will become more important as time goes on. Trust me on this. Huh? 
you'll know, somewhere around like, ah, uh, one quarter through the game? A third? Somewhere in the vicinity. Still in one piece? We're seeing lots of unfriendly critters around that meteorite. Uh huh. Who's this? Oh. Oh, God. This is Noel. He helped LeBro and me out of a tight spot. Is that right? Hey, I'm good though. Okay, take it easy, big guy. What the fuck are you doing? I am anything? not here to make trouble for anyone. <laughs> you better not. Anything happens to Sarah, the boss will string your carcass out to dry. Huh. No worries. I got her back. I'll take care of Sarah. You got my word on that. <laughs> Words are cheap. Uh -uh. Really? All right, now, two of those options were actually, quote-unquote, funny choices, shall we say, that are actually quite important. Those two were, I thought you were the boss, dude. and you don't this think. boss sounds like a slowly one, and fuck these monsters. Anyway, if you have to move a clock right now, that's what I mean by red building. Whoops. Little, uh, <laughs> tipsy minded. Anyway, let's, let's watch Noel just destroy me. Destroy me. And by that, I mean get destroyed. Oh, yeah, kill it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good God. I shot a thing, like, way too late. You're, like, slower on the bar than I thought, Sarah. Let's move on. With our daily routine. Now, I know you guys, some some people, if they have actually played a scene from like this and they're like yelling at me of these things, I'm going to go back for everything. Trust me on this. Everything. I'm going, I'm going to do my best to go for 100, 100,000 million percent. And I can already think of annoying bullshit to get my way on that, but I don't care because it's for you guys. For all, like, the two of you who watch us. One of which I actually know. Which is... It's okay. Screw you. Yeah, Noel. Get off my kills. Four stars. Your brother was the prostitute. Eugene and Mackie went too. Alright. I... I'm looking at something. Alright. I thought someone was playing. It was at my door. Oh, that was hot. Whoa! What's going on here? Am I dreaming? I see it too. Pretty sure what it's no dream. Shit. What the piss? Oh, I don't want this dream to be dreaming all over me while I'm trying to kill monsters. That would suck. That would truly suck. That would suck more than suck. Oh, yeah. You like the combo, don't you? Look at her hug. Look at her hug that thing. Look at her hug, mom. You are nothing. I didn't say that name. Just, I, I just say enjoy the music, y'all. You're gonna be hearing a lot of amazing soundtrack in this, in this game. And I, for one, love it to death. I don't love my friend. I'm sorry about that. I, I must be like pissing every, each and every one of you off, but I digress. Hey. Mm, you're pretty so, huge, this is the famous you? Noel, huh? Yep. I guess news travels fast. The bro told me how you helped her out. Hand ring. I'm huge. Nice to meet you. Hey, likewise. What's with the new style and thread, Sarah? Not exactly a dress up and hit the town kind of occasion. Oh, check you out. Eat that out. <laughs> All right. Here are our two comical choices for the day. You want to try them on? Wink, wink. And one we actually don't see yet. Ha <laughs> ha! I wonder why. You know what? I don't remember. I'm not affiliated. Well, to be honest with you, I don't remember putting them on. Oh, I know how that goes. Hard to resist trying out a new outfit. Okay, I'm probably just gonna I have to cut this going. like somewhere random. Oh my god, I've been going for so long. Alright. Let's just keep going. 
or actually, you know what, I think it's gonna be, a, I'm gonna call that right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the next interesting event for pretty, for pretty soon into the next one. For now, this session ends. I will see you guys and Sarah's ass later. Have a good one. Is it because of the me?